connecting WhatsApp business and Calendly just became super easy with SuperChat. You want to send automatically appointment reminders to your applicants or to your prospects. This works with SuperChat in combination with Calendly. We are using the official WhatsApp business API, which allows you to connect Calendly uh, via Zapier, make our own API with WhatsApp business via SuperChat. Maurizio, a question comes to mind. Why should we even automate um, WhatsApp business and Calendly together? Yeah, I think if you're, for example, a recruiting agency, it's very, very important for you to have it easy. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use WhatsApp to have very easy applications. Mm -hmm. And then like the automation comes in place if we want to send Calendly reminders if someone booked an appointment. So we have a higher show rate or, for example, we directly schedule appointments in the WhatsApp chat. Mm -hmm. okay. For example, we say like, Jonas, you're a very interesting applicant. I just send a little WhatsApp message, Calendly link. You know, as you book yourself an appointment and that's it. Okay. If I want to automate the whole process, for example, reminders for an appointment or the option to rebook, is this also something that we could potentially build with SuperChat? Yeah, that works. SuperChat and Sapier together, Calendly in the beginning. So we say someone comes in, books an appointment, we automate the whole process. And also inside of SuperChat, of course, we can automate it. Let's say you just send a little message and we just keep going, asking okay. questions. Great. Then I would say let's jump into the tutorial, which is Maurizio is going to provide, um, and let's start building. All right, let's have a look how to connect Sapier with SuperChat and WhatsApp and how to send an appointment reminder and just like a little confirmation for the appointment after booking it. What's very important are two things in the very beginning. We need the WhatsApp templates for the reminders and for the confirmation, and we need a Calendly event where we collect the WhatsApp number. Um, let's have a look first at the appointment reminders, like the templates. Um, I have them already submitted and approved. So we have one confirmation for the appointment. So hello, first name. Thank you for looking for booking your appointment at Wildcard. And please confirm it, confirm or reschedule two buttons. Um, and the other one for the reminder will just be like a hey, little reminder hey first name i just want to remind you about your appointment tomorrow that's it then next important point is the calendly event with the whatsapp number included i mean it's very important usually in calendly you just have to name in the email as questions but we have to add in the settings another field for the whatsapp number you can call it whatever you want the only important part is that we have the number um, to actually send the WhatsApp message to this number after booking the event. Good. Now, if we have these two uh, points checked, we go into Sapia and we actually start building it. Um, it's very simple. In the beginning, we just need a trigger, Calendly event as soon as a new invitee is created. Continue. We connect our SuperChat point account here. Next step continue and then we're testing the trigger while testing um, sapio will just get some previous um, appointments and we just keep going with one of these appointments perfect continue with the selected record good first step done we already have the trigger second step is going to be super chat event send a whatsapp template continue Connect the super chat account here, continue, and now the action. We just go here to who are, whom are we gonna send the WhatsApp, uh, like the message. Now we add the number from the previous question, from which WhatsApp number we're we choosing. We just have one connected here, so it's pretty simple. And which WhatsApp template are we using? And we have the Calendly confirmation appointment. Perfect. Now we have first name and the wildcard. First name is still pretty easy because we just choose the name from the WhatsApp template, like from the Calendly and add it to the WhatsApp template. And the wildcard is going to be a bit different because if we want to add the date when the event is starting, Calendly always just gives us this scheduled event time here. But we don't want to add this event time, so we want to make it a little bit pretty. So what we're going to do is we add a little step in between format. 
event date and time continue we transform it to a different time input the start time to format exactly now we just use like the month month day day year year hours minutes and seconds time zone is important if you're not utc for example in our case i'm just gonna put berlin in here and from format it usually detects it pretty good um, but as we already know it also from Calendly, we can just choose the right Calendly format anyway. And from time zone in Calendly, it's always UTC. So we add the UTC and we test the step. Perfect. February 9th at 9. So tomorrow the appointment would be perfect. We just continue. Now we basically just have to add it to the WhatsApp template. Um, the wildcard, so when is the appointment going to be? We use the second step here, 9th of February 2024 at 9 o'clock. If you don't like the the seconds, you could also add another formatter step and just cut off the, the seconds at the end of the appointment, but we will just leave it like this for now. And then we just continue. And let's test the step, see if it works. Perfect. Seems like that it's sent. We go back to Super Chat in the inbox. Perfect. There's a message here. And the message is Hello Maurizio, thank you for booking your appointment. Perfect. The two buttons. All right. That worked already. Perfect. Now we have the appointment, like the confirmation. And um, what we want now is we want to send another WhatsApp message just one day ahead of the actual appointment. So what do we need for that? It's also pretty straightforward. First of all, we have to delay the SEP until one day prior to the actual appointment. So we go here, delay, delay until. And now we just need the actual time. Because right now we just have the time when the event is actually happening. We have to, again, format the actual date and time a little bit. So we just go here, format, and now we have the option date time, and we can here add and subtract time. Perfect. Input date, we just use the 9th of February. And now the expression here, what do we actually want to do? Okay, we want to subtract one day because we want to send it one day prior. And it's pretty simple here. We can just go here, minus one day, for example. So we just write minus one day. To format, we just keep it at the same format. So we stay here. And the from format, we do not actually need it. And we click on test. Now it should be 8 of February, 9 o'clock. Perfect. Continue. Until when do we delete it now? In the fifth step, we choose the 8th of February at 9. What should we handle with dates in the past? We just leave it uh, the default and continue perfect we do not really have to test this one because we will just delay it so we just skip the test for now and now we add the last step and this is again just going to be a whatsapp template message through super chat send whatsapp template continue connect the account if it's not already connected continue phone number from the calendar appointment First name, I like from first, the WhatsApp template, so the WhatsApp number here. Then we choose the WhatsApp template, Calendly reminder for the appointment, perfect. And now we have it, first name, easy, name from Calendly, and continue. And that's basically it. We test it again, just to see if it worked on the other side. And if the SAP is working here, perfect. It's also working here. We see it. Reminder is there. Perfect. Now, last very important step. We're not completely done yet. We just have to click on publish. You wait a few seconds until the SAP is published, and then you're basically ready to go. So if everyone, anyone just goes on your page, enters an appointment, enters the WhatsApp message, and schedules an appointment, the messages will be sent directly, one for confirmation and afterwards one 
as a reminder. That's it. Thank you really much, Maurizio, for showing us how to build this automation. Anything more that you want to add in the end? Yeah. I think what's very, very important is that this was just one little use case and there are a lot of more use cases. For example, you want to send a reschedule link if someone answers in the super chat, WhatsApp chat, okay, I don't have time today, but I want to book another appointment. This is also possible to automate. And for today, we just had a look in one automation, but the next time, if you want to see some more, just comment it, subscribe, do whatever you want, and we're going to send you some more videos. Okay, nice. If you want to start uh, building this automation, check out superchat.com, uh, use our free sign up, actually build this automation. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We're super happy to help you build this automation.